Real Madrid boss Carlo Ancelotti offered a robust assessment of his team as they were thrashed 3-1 by Barcelona in the Spanish Supercopa final. Los Blancos were second best all night in Riyadh, as an energetic Barcelona stormed to victory in the Saudi Arabian capital, thanks to goals from Gavi, Robert Lewandowski and Pedri. Real Madrid skipper Karim Benzema fired home a late consolation goal, but the contest was already over for Ancelotti's holders, as they surrendered their title in low-key style. Ancelotti knows his players need to turn their form around quickly, after a poor start to 2023, as they prepare to fight on three fronts in the coming months. We have to learn from this, it's a difficult moment and that's it, as per reports from Marca. We don't have to do too many things, we knew before the game the team is not at its best. We have to cheer up and prepare for the next game. This game helps us, as it has shown some shortcomings in our play. Up next for Real Madrid is a Copa del Rey trip to Villarreal on January 19 before returning to league matters away at Athletic Club three days later. Real Madrid are licking their wounds after a 3-1 defeat to Barcelona in the Spanish Supercup, which saw the Blagrana claim the first title of the season. More concerning for many Real Madrid fans was the manner in which the defeat arrived. After just two wins in their previous five league games, including two defeats where they were outperformed by Rayo Vallecano and Villarreal, once again Los Blancos were clearly second best in this one. After the match, Carlo Ancelotti was asked if it was a humiliation. He gave Marca a strong response. We gave away, gifts, it started evenly, there wasn't much rhythm and avoiding gifts is the first thing but we have given them too. We have to improve our physical condition and play as a team. The mistakes have been definitive. We were not successful at the start. Nobody played a good match. Talking about sporting humiliation seems disrespectful to me. They've been better, period. Ancelotti was keen to emphasize that this was not going to be a decisive moment in the season, rather just part of the usual adversity that comes in a season. It's not a critical moment, it's a difficult and complicated moment. It usually happens over the course of a season. You know that from the beginning. It can be fixed with the usual commitment and the usual attitude. While this performance will not provoke much fear in opponents, the Italian manager did make a rather ominous prediction. The team is hurt. A lot, because they usually win the finals. We have all the resources to come back. Real Madrid returns, there's no doubt about that. The scoreline ended up mirroring the La Liga El Clasico result, where Real Madrid had an air of superiority about them for much of the match. Even if the game was close until the 90th minute, at no point did the result feel in danger. This match started off evenly, as Ancelotti said, but more worrying will be the clear gap between the two after Gavi's opener. Real Madrid sunk last night at the hands of Gavi and Barcelona in the second El Clasico of the season, with Los Blancos trailing 3-0 until stoppage time. As tends to be the case, the hunt for the responsible parties was not long in following the final whistle. Dani Carvajal was one of the most heavily criticized players throughout the match. All three of Barcelona's goals came down his flank and between Gavi and Alejandro Bald, Carvajal struggled to cope with either of his direct opponents. In Marca's player ratings after the match, he wasn't spared much by Jose Luis Calderon. He confirmed that his state of form is alarming. Disastrous match from start to finish. Embarrassed in all goals. Bad decisions, errors with and without the ball, overcome, worrying physical condition. Gavi and Ball drove him crazy. And Lucas injured. The numbers behind his match did not paint a prettier picture either. SofaScore collected the following data. 72 minutes 2 clearances 0 blocks 0 interceptions 2 tackles 6 ground duels, 2 1 1 aerial duel, 0 1 12 balls lost 2 fouls 69 touches 48 58 passes, 83%. 6 long balls, 1 accurate, 2 dribbles, 0 successful. Carlo Ancelotti admitted after the Spanish Super Cup semi-final that Carvajal was, at his limit, physically, having struggled to get back from a knock. Hopefully for the Italian, much of this was down to a lack of sharpness rather than something more permanent. 
As pointed out in the marker review, Lucas Vasquez is set to miss the next six weeks with an ankle sprain, meaning Real Madrid have relatively few options to replace Carvajal. As happened against Villarreal, Eda Militao could shift out to the right should Carvajal's form not improve. Real Madrid have struggled to defend all season, keeping just three clean sheets in La Liga so far, but matters have got even worse since Antonio Rudiger has come into the side. The German defender was touted to make Los Blancos defense impregnable this season but is yet to find his form. After David Alaba was ruled out for several weeks, Rudiger came into the side against Villarreal and struggled to cope with the onslaught. Various reports emerged that Carlo Ancelotti was not happy with the German international. Against Barcelona, the criticism only got louder. Rudiger was at fault for the first goal as he sold Eduardo Camavinga short with a pass, while not covering himself in glory on the other goals. Marca did not spare him either. A horror of a match. Features in two of the goals. With problems throughout the game to play out from the back, a bad ball to Camavinga ended in Barca's first goal. In the second, he poorly defended a desperate situation in a two-on-one. He was a continuous danger with the ball at his feet. Rudiger was responsible for losing the ball eight times over the course of the game, but generally struggled to deal with the Barcelona attack. Together with Danny Carvajal, he was called out as the largest culprit for the defeat. As Nacho Fernandez's contract expires, starved of minutes due to Rudiger, some might wonder if Nacho has a chance to win his place back in the coming games.